worlds apart But the way I feel won't get me through the night One of those things where technology is used in the service of making people happy I wanted it so badly, and I was dreaming, when will it be my time? I'm one of those boys that grew up in the 90s, that fantasise about a place far away from reach. They were idols, people I look up to, celebrities, famous, well-renowned, and they are excessively bright, garish, wondrous characters like Don Yang, Bruce Lee, and Jackie Chan. Welcome to Hong Kong. And they all share the same bath place, La La Land have been so desperate to reach Hong Kong. London to Hong Kong flight time, 12 hours 45 minutes. Thankfully I leave in the mainland. There is a huge influx of foreigners coming to Hong Kong for work, for other things, for leisure. And of course for me, my 12 hours in Hong Kong commence in one of the world's busiest airports. Navigating through the airport is as easy as eating a cheesecake. Look, Octopus Cat. Made it to my childhood destination, Hong Kong. I'm just transiting from here to mainland China. And uh, yeah, so from Hong Kong to Xinjiang, it's just um, a subway away. Um, I have one, I just have um, a day here. So, okay. That is so clear. I love that. Charming. You need this to move around on the sophisticated MTL metro system. There's much beef, political steam and flame flowing out from this place. Regardless of what you may have had or still hearing about this place, listen. I came to Hong Kong to fulfill my fantasy side with honor. So catching the connecting train to Malta. Brass rings in the center and a wind with the red sun. Amazing Hong Kong, the train is arriving. I'm amazed so far your infrastructure is pretty efficient, very well planned and uh, very structured. No, it's, it's brilliant. How the contrast has changed a little bit. The noise pollution has gone down a little bit. It's right. It's early in the morning, soon arriving to my guest house, more like a hostel. If you think real estate hotels back home in the UK or in America or in New York is expensive, then this place will slap you and confront you with a different reality of marvelously overpriced units. You see, space here is precious. I mean, royalty precious. Yeah. I made it to my dream. My dream place, man, Hong Kong. Oh, it feels good. Look at that. So looking at that on on screen, on paper, you may think I'm oh, it's not that spectacular. But you have to come here and see it. Make the day today. It's a little bit foggy, but yes, still it remains beautiful. Hong Kong. Special administrative region of China. You know? What a place. What a place. The financial and business hub. 
people in here you can find a lot more cheaper stuff when it comes to electronic but cheap maybe we should have mentioned that when it comes to anything on con why because when it comes to real estate it's by far the most expensive place in the world probably one of the most expensive city in the world as well so you've got to be let's say cautious accommodation surely tell them it's in the morning eight in the morning and i still can't check in yet because the guy um well i'm staying at it's a guest house and uh i think they're still asleep so i'm just here with my jacket on it's starting to get hot a little bit as well so i've got to take this thing off person <laughs> it's a spotted jacket it's not helping me i live in the north of china in tianjin and we all know it's freaking cold there and this time of the year I arrived too early in Hong Kong, check-in time 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah, dropping my suitcase, heading out to the iconic, iconic, scenic spot. There is always a flashback of old memories, of a place you dreamt of all these years. The things that draw you to such fantasy. They say what makes the difference is to dream and act upon those dreams. But sometimes those dreams are shattered with disappointment. But not this marvellous, excessively bright, marvellous moment. I cherish. I'm not kidding when I say. It's getting hot in here. Such a majestic. I mean, pure, pure majestic skyline. You can't get enough of. I just can't, really. And uh, of course, I can't spend it all day in this one spot. Hong Kong is still an impeccable financial hub. Towering skyscrapers, Scene of futuristic stuff, made feel like you're in sci-fi movies. Yeah, the feeling of a superstar, child dreams coming into flourishing. Yeah, I like it. In fact, I'm in love with it. The prodigious history of Hong Kong is truly extraordinary. My people came here, they did bad things. I mean, really bad things. The history is long and dark and gruesome, but I will keep it brief. You see, the British came with their moors and costumes, ways of life. They changed this place and it changed it, some would say for the worse, some for the good. Peaceful negotiations proving in vain, a war followed. And as a result, Great Britain received an indemnity of six million dollars on the island of Hong Kong, which is now a most important link in the world's greatest chain of empire. Before the arrival of the British, Hong Kong was a desolate island infested with pirates and smugglers and overrun with pestilence. Under Great Britain's rule, it has been miraculously transformed into one of the greatest seaports in the world. Hong Kong was a British colony from 1842 until 1997. There was an 100 year lease they obtained from China and the principle of one country, two systems. During the reign of the British in Hong Kong, they bring drugs. They use it, misuse it, sell it to the people to use it, and everyone seem like they're in cooker land. Crackhead rules, territory gain, first opium war, commence, fight, battle, bloodshed, tension grew, development of the powerful trading arm, lease handed, British kicked out, handed back to China. Under the system, you know one country, two system, and allowing it to retain a high degree of autonomy including a legal and economy system on the Chinese sovereignty. I'm leaving the blustrous avenue of stars. I return back later, I mean late in the evening. For now, jumping on a star ferry to the other side. Never stop dreaming my friend, never stop dreaming. Because dreams do come true. You see, many have come to this place, have explored, have seen, have sick, and they have received. 
You see, Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated cities. With 7 million people, packed, cramped, and they ever so crazy. Supreme crazy, beautiful mad crazy. While crossing and viewing the one most insane skyline. Here in Hong Kong, those for the most skyscrapers the in the wild. And we're just crossing to this side, to the city centre, I suppose. Five US dollar each. We'll go round and round. Hong Kong observation wheel. Maybe I'll skip for now. It's not just being Hong Kong, it's a capitalist society. Where the collision of West meets East. You see, there are two languages spoken here in Hong Kong. Chinese, I mean, Cantonese and English, yeah. As the heat beating down, my energy vapid. Even though I came to Hong Kong during the nice season, yet I feel hot. Hong Kong can get real hot, and I really like this. I like what I'm seeing here. This thing just stretches as far as the eye can see or go. Really, it's it's brilliant. It's fantastic. What makes Hong Kong such an important city is how it offers so much. It really does. I went in, inside that mall and uh, there was Apple, Apple everywhere in downtown areas, everywhere you go. And I just wanted to see how much this charging for an Apple TV. It is ridiculously cheap here. You may think, um, yes, of course, Hong Kong is a very expensive city, but when it comes to electronic, right? Tax free, can't believe it, maybe even more, right? Unbelievable, really. But unfortunately, I can't use Apple TV in China, no chance. But I can buy a MacBook, an iPhone, and then I can easily use it in mainland China. So that's the plan in the future. I'm in the midst of all the shebang, the happening. I've never seen so many foreigners in one place so far in East Asia. And here in Hong Kong is the mecca for anything foreign. Hong Kong is an international city. Central mid-levels elevators in sight. I know, I'm in the right place. Hong Kong is a steep, I mean, very, very steep city. And it's never wise to explore an empty stomach here. It's a crime. There are plethora of Michelin restaurants in this area. In the afternoon, everyone on the loose. Lunchtime, everyone needs some. You don't have to be an expert or look too far to find where the good things are. Whatever you decide on, best believe it, in Hong Kong, it's good. Lunchtime and it's chaotic here. I mean, the first restaurant I went to outside, they literally just shout at me, so and twice I didn't eat there. And no, of course, you can't shout at me, you think I'm gonna support you, your business, no way. It, it, it shouldn't work like that, no matter how busy you are, your customers should treat them politely. So good. Quality. People here are very expressive. Um, Canton is some next level, right? I know it's a rush hour, but come on. Have some thoughts, you understand? Mm. Good stuff. Put a high steam, just washing it down. Perfect. Surely a unique experience. I mean, I think they completely forget the essence of customer service. Now, what they're doing now, they just they're just providing service, right? Rapid service without attending to customer. And I say properly, really. And uh, I just feel like it's a, it's, it's a chaos. A lady that shouted at me outside, I didn't record. Yeah, you lose. Haha. <laughs> 
I found a good food. Boohoo. Taekwon, or the formal central police station compound. And now it's a vibrant hangout area. Built between 1821 and 1925, comprises of 16 historical buildings grouped under the formal central police station and the formal central magistrate and the Victoria prison. Of course, the presence of historical colonial architecture can be seen. Yeah, moral of this scene, don't go to prison. It sucks. Once used to be a prison. Thai Sunda. Awful, terrible things happening here, man. In this side of town, surely it's euphoria. Hollywood Road, it feels like for the Gen Z. The Instagram lovers, the photo takers, the admirers like me, and this place feels like it's for everyone. So far, Hong Kong blows the mind, and it's everything I imagine. It's slightly like mainland China, but different. right here and then uh, just do people watching really and then uh, you see Ooh, fish and chips representing Great Britain yeah It is true what they say about Hong Kong. It is one of the most expensive cities in the world. The cage apartments you may have had. I mean, honing your own land here. Yeah, forget about it. It will cost you a fortune. And yeah, the people are not as affable, I mean, friendly, as in the mainland. No, no, this is not a comparison. I'm having a blast. I love it here. I really do. But the main issue when it comes to cost of living should be expressed. And I want my speech to catalyze maybe your visit or move to this place. And I wear the different side in Hong Kong. Jumping on a train to Victoria Peak, one of the most hyped places in Hong Kong. Yeah, the public transportation in Hong Kong is spectacular, well built, and the Hong Kong people, I believe, they're proud of this. The subway. I mean, they talked about it. They're proud. It's clean and easy to navigate. It will ooze you through the city in a blink. I mean, this is spectacular. I mean, so cheap. Did I say so cheap? Yeah, cheap. Maybe I'll get too carried away when I arrive this morning here in Hong Kong. Oh, and there wasn't that many people. I was like, oh, god damn, like, bloody hell, what a place. Fantastic. But now, look at it. Here, it's a fast space, fast space. Safety here in Hong Kong, safe. Regardless, law is ridiculously packed, but it is freaking safe, and I like it. Like that, I like it like that. 
Hello, this is the right uh, listen to me. Going to Central. I hope so. I've got to check it quick now. It's in Jordan. What station name? Okay, I think this should be the one. That's right, the train. It's arriving. Well, let some more people to come out now. Marcus. for direction and uh, these young people I'm asking them but they're, they're walking away they're one away you know so yeah it's mad oh well it looks like I'm heading in the right direction and uh, to get the tram so I stumbled into this French couple and I asked them yeah you gotta love them man the accent is so cute so goddamn cute do you know what I mean so they were like the, the direct me that was like oh, it's best for you to book the ticket online it's better that way but when i ask them um, the locals here yeah, i don't know why they run away from me it's not a good feeling mate it's not a good feeling anyways um yeah shout out to you you the french couple Let's say, I am not, I'm not doing this, no way, that's a no-no for me, no chance, I am gonna go to a different location, and uh, yeah, I just, I'm not very good when it comes to this crowd at all. Yeah, I chicken out like a baby, next time, I shall visit Victoria Peak. This Spawn Kong is very populated and notoriously expensive, but yet still, it has many green spaces. I feel very drained and tired, very tired, but yeah, but I gotta do this. The double decker tram, iconic. I think I might just randomly jump on the tram because <laughs> I genuinely want to. I want to feel that experience, hoping, and uh, later head to the bay and see the symphony of light. My voice is cracking surely because I'm really, really tired, really tired. You know, it's a city that is busy. A lot of people going about and doing their, their normal things and they forget to smile a little bit. But I understand Hong Kong is one of the most expensive cities in the world, you know? And uh, here people ain't got time to smile. It's all about work, work, work. I mean, the space here, it's very scarce and uh, it will cost you a lot, it's expensive if you want to stay in a nice hotel, yeah, but for me I'm just here yeah, just for a day and uh, we're going to cross the border into the mainland, to Shinji and uh, what do I think of this place? Surely I'll say Hong Kong is more expensive than you name it, yeah, most of the cities in mainland China, absolutely, we fell down. And uh, it's a place that re resembles of London, you know, you've got a double decker bus, makes me feel like I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Europe. you got European architecture, you got ancient traditional Chinese things here, you know, and of course, modern vibe. 
it's a it's a financial hub, it's a transportation hub. Marvelous, impeccable infrastructure. Absolutely clean, very very safe, very very uh, let's say very laid out. And uh, yeah, there's not much I can fault it really. Other than it's expensive and the accommodation is too small, and the people are a little bit stressed out. I mean, they're always rushing. Maybe it's not a place for me. Surely, it's not the kind of place I want to leave. And uh, I want a place that is low paced and hence why I leave in Tianjin. And it's just brilliant for now. And I hope it remains that way. So as I go around and exploring and seeing things. If you look for a more wider range of experience that is so rich, then Hong Kong will pleasure you with vivacious happiness. And then you'll be ecstatic, elated, on the tram, riding on your dream to the liveliest side of town, nightlife. I'm not here to equivocate the meaning of Hong Kong, and of all the things I've seen, Hong Kong is still a place worth visiting. Listen, I love my life in mainland China and I can't trade it for nothing but this place surely raising questions. My 24 hours in Hong Kong is coming to an end. I made my way to Temple Street and here you shop and eat till you drop. Good stuff, good food, good, good stuff. Hong Kong is surely a mystical world for dreamers like me. It's a place why I imagine is why I expect it. It's packed, it's famous, it's crowded, it's new and old, and it's surely spectacular as always. And I will leave Hong Kong going into mainland China knowing I've ticked my dream destination, knowing I'll be back to see it in its true depth because this place is supreme and class.